a great game I want to teach you guys to learn how to control your distance with pitching is to basically do the towel drill. Start with a towel drill or a towel here, just a normal bath towel. Go ahead and fold it like this, fold it again in a half, and fold it again. And all you're going to do is you're going to walk this out right here to 10 yards. And what you're going to do is you're just going to hit some shots until the ball lands on here. It must, not, it must land on here. It's obviously not going to stay. Then you'd walk it out to 20 yards, walk it out to 30 yards, and walk it out to 40. And the reason this is important because when we talk about this, all right, I want you to understand that there is a little bit of difference between you know how far back you go, um, your your width of stance, where the ball position is. And so if I'm going to try to hit this 10 yards, well my stance is going to be very narrow. I've choked down very similar to a chip shot. The only difference is is I might use a little bit more wrist hinge on this one to get that ball to actually go 10 yards. Well, I'm going to be limited if I start going to 20 yards or 30 yards from this having choked down, my weight left like this. So I'm going to have to make the club longer. I'm going to have to get a little bit further away. And again, let's say I'm at 20 yards now. Well, this ball is still back in my stance. Well, if I start hitting some shots, well, I'm okay. That's There's a little bit of divot here. It's going to be right in that area, that gray area where mm, I can get away with it or I can't. So what I would do here is just move the ball a little bit more forward so now that it's almost in the middle of my stance, made the club longer. That club went through the ground much better. And again, that can fly out to you know, 20 or 30 yards. If I get down now to the 40 yard area, well, the stance might have to get a little bit wider so I don't lose my balance. I've made the club longer, okay? Remember, if you wanna hit the ball low, you want to choke down and get really close to it, okay, just like this. But that also limits how hard I can hit it. So at this distance, 40 yards, I'm pretty far away, so I need to get further away. Ball's more forward. Weight's 60% left. Back and through. And what you're going to notice about technique here is a couple things, okay? When I swing back, obviously I'm using some wrist, and when I come through, very similar to the chipping, I don't want to burn myself. I don't want to let this left wrist break down. Well, I'm eventually going to have to carry it through to either one of two things. I'm going to release it like a full swing, or I'm going to have to learn to release the club without releasing the toe. What do I mean by that, okay? If I swing through and I let my hands cross over, I've released the club, I've also released the toe. Okay, this way I've released the face. That's going to produce more of that draw shot that you want to see. Well, what we're going to be doing differently here with wedges is we need to learn how to release the club without releasing the toe. So if you can do this at home, if you can just show me what impact looks with my weight left, hands left, just like this, my hips are open, my shoulders are open, and from here just slowly go through to this point where if I go any further, I'm going to get it out of my back and we don't want that. But now I have to release my left arm and hold it here with the face still open. It's almost as if from down the line here, I want the angle of the shaft this way. Okay, I do not want the club to release this way. I want the angle of the shaft to stay this way, almost as if I'm going to bonk myself in the head this way. What you're going to feel with your left arm is that you've almost got a, an old glove or something underneath there that you're just trying to squeeze through where that stays connected. That's a nice tight gap and I have held the club off. What's interesting about that, you would think that by holding the club off that the flight would go higher. In essence, the flight comes down of the golf ball, which is why you see most tour players hold their wedges off because in order to hold your wedge off, you have to create this lag or this angle here between your shaft and your forearm. That de-lofts the wedge, and that's what all good players do, and then they just maintain that position all the way through the shot. So understand that there are some key differences here between you know, chipping and pitching, and we're getting into a gray area, 
and we're kind of right in between that area between full swing, you know, and obviously chipping, where we're kind of figuring out how we have to go through this, okay? But there is a difference between wedges and the normal full swing. So learn and practice at home. I would say just, you know, send that, put the towel drill out there. 10 yards, treat it like a chip shot. Notice when you get to 20 yards, you're going to start digging the club in. Okay, so you got to put the ball more forward, and you're going to have to learn and then we, how to hit that shot. And when you get to 40 yards, just practice for a while, if you have to, hitting it like the chip shot like this. Okay, well, eventually, you're going to want to learn.